Alhamdulillah, everyone. Welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 7th day of June Lead Code Challenge. And the problem we are going to cover in this video is minimum cost climbing stairs. So the input given here is an integer array cost, which represents the cost to take each step. And we have to return the minimum cost to reach the top of the floor. So now they have given that we can either start from the zeroth index or the zeroth step or from the first index or the first step. And every time we can either take one step or two steps. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example. The first stairs of cost 10. Let us have this as index 0. And the index 1 stairs is going to cost us 15. And index 2 stairs is going to cost us 20. And we need to reach the top that is index 2 now. So as per the problem statement, we can either start from our index 0 or index 1. So let's consider first we are starting from our index 0. So now we have two options. That is if we take 10 and step on to index 0 or we can directly step on to index 1 by taking 10. So consider we are taking 10 and stepping on index 0. So in that case, we have to reach index 2. So we have to take if suppose we are taking only one step in that case so far the cost is going to be 10 and we are taking one step at a time and that is going to be 15 if we take 15 we can reach index 1 or index 2 directly so in that case let us consider we are taking two steps so we are taking another 15 which is going to cost us 25 to reach index 2 again if suppose we are going to take two steps at a time then in that case, we can directly take 10 and reach to index 1, which is having the cost 15. So now we are at index 1. So we need to, so far the cost is 10. So we need to reach index 2. So to reach index 2, again, we need to take another 20 so that the cost has become 30 now. And finally, coming to our solution, we are not starting from our index 0. Instead, we are directly starting from our index 1 by taking 15. And we have two options. We either step on index 1 or step on index 2 directly. So by taking 15, we are going to step on index 2 directly where we have reached our top and the total cost is going to be 15, which is the minimum out of all. So that is going to be our output. So what we did here is we explored all possible options of taking either one step or two step. Also starting from an index 0 or index 1. So here we are doing the exhaustive solution that is trying out all the options available. So if we want to perform the exhaustive solution that is considering all possible option and arriving at a solution, there are only two ways to approach that. Either it can be a recursive solution or a dynamic programming. So here the first intuitive solution for me was recursive solution. That is, if suppose we want to reach our target, which is the top of the step. So to reach here, we would have either used the previous step or last but one step. That is consider if we want to reach the nth step, that is the last step in the array, then we would have reached here starting from n minus 2th step or n minus one step so we have only two options to reach this particular m if we are choosing either of this option which one would we choose we want to have a minimum cost here then of course we would be choosing whichever is the minimum cost either it is n minus 2 or n minus 1 and if we are stepping on this particular step then in that case we would choose cost of that step as well so overall we are going to pick the minimum of these two step plus the cost of the current step. That is what the recurrence relation we are going to use. So first let us go to the recursive solution and, and let's see how we are going to further optimize it. So before calling the recursive function, let us write the function itself. So I am first checking the base conditions. So here we have checked whether we have only zero steps or only one step. In that case, we can take that cost alone and return it. And we are getting into a recurrence relation where we are going to add the current cost of what has been passed as n plus minimum of 
min cost of cost comma n minus 1 min cost of cost of n minus 2 so this is nothing but if suppose our n is our target that is the last element in our cost then we would have reached n from n minus 1 or n minus 2 so we are going to take which is the minimum step and add the current cost so once we choose the minimum step how did we reach to that step again it's n minus 1 and it's n minus 2 step would be considered so it is going to call till we reach either the 0th step or the first step so once we reach it it is anyway going to return it directly i hope you're understanding this part so from our main method we simply going to call this recursive function so yes again from our main method we are calling min cost of n minus 1 and n minus 2 so this is going to be the overall code but this is definitely gonna time limit exceed so let's run and try so yes as i said this is time limit exceeded because we are we are doing a repeated number of operations so let us implement a bit of memoization and let's check so to do memoization, I'm going to have a DP array which stores the pre-calculated values and whenever the value has been already calculated, it is going to return it simply instead of calling the recursive function. So here instead of returning the value, I'm going to save that value in my DP. So our computed value will be stored in our DP and finally I'm going to return my DP. So here it is going to check the default value of our integer array in Java is going to be 0. So if suppose we have updated any value in DP it is not going to be 0. So we are going to check if DP of n is not equal to 0 then return the pre-computed value. So yes, this is this definitely will reduce our time. So let's check. So yes, this solution is accepted. And runs in 2 millisecond. So this is actually the recursive function. This is going to run in big O of n time, but it is going to take the stack memory for calling a recursive function. We can further reduce it by not having the recursive call. You can further find a direct DP solution without using recursion just by iterating the given matrix, but that is not my actual intuitive solution. So this is what I had come up with when I saw this question, and I hope this would be the intuitive solution to most of you all in a interview and this is going to work in big o of n time and space complexity so thanks for watching the video hope you like this video if you like this video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you